Yo, 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 what's going on, gamers? It's your boy iMaverick, aka Mr. Touchdown Glitch. Ain't no touchdowns in this video, so it don't really matter. I'm not the best Madden player in the world. That's my point. I'm alright, though. All glory to God. Make sure you guys check out your boy's sponsors, buytmuttcoins.com. Link down in the description. Use that promo code IMAV at checkout. Saves you 5%. And uh, we over here making a grilled cheese sandwich, man. I can only do it. I'm doing y'all If y'all couldn't tell, your boy's been bulk recording because I got this on through most of the videos this week. You'll see across all games. I've been grinding all day because we move tomorrow and my internet will be cut off for a day. And I won't have access. So I've been locked up in here grinding for y'all. And uh, I'm hungry. So I brought the foreman up here. And we about to make this grilled cheese real quick. Man, we still working at the same time. No, we grinding. All right, so we got some we got some reevaluating to do, right? Because if you saw yesterday's uh, badge pack opening, go watch it. Go watch the badge pack. If you ain't watched it, go watch the badge pack opening. That every things went really good for us. We did some. It was almost like an auction block video. It almost should have been an auction block, but I thought I was like, I don't know. It might be stupid, and the auction block guys might be frustrated if I take up the time with that. So I was like, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, so I did it separate, but I'm so glad that I did because it ended up being such a dope video. But now, as you see, we got that 88 Pat Pete. And so, I don't know. We got to go to Mudhead, man. We got to go to Mudhead because he goes for like 170. But we're going to compare him to Tlaib. Because y'all have seen how Tlaib has been playing, man. Like, I can't. How do you. Is it. A, a, a Keeb? A Keeb? There you go. A Keeb Tlaib. My man has been balling. Like, just straight balling. So, I don't know. Like, I'm pretty sure we're going to look at the stats, and Pat Pete, hands down, should be better. Let me check this grilled cheese. Okay. Um, Pat Pete should be better, hands down. I got my second sandwich on deck, too. But Tlaib, oh. Tlaib has been balling, man, so it might be a better move to sell. You know what I mean? It might be a better move to just sell Pat Pete. Ah, oh, oops, I did that wrong. So, I don't know. We're going to we're gonna see. We're definitely going to see. And then also I was thinking of keeping both. You know what I mean? It's not often, though. I mean, that might be stupid, though, because it's not often we're in, like, a nickel formation. So, probably don't need them all. So, let's see. Uh, speed, okay, big difference. We knew that. But, to, I mean, Tlaib hasn't got beat yet. So, he, I mean, Pat Peach is way more athletic. Both 6'1". Okay. Uh... What's Tlaib's catching? Where's catching at? 80. Okay, his is 77. So his, his is still up there because Tlaib be catching balls for me. All right. <clears throat> Tackle, both pretty weak. Hit power. Pat Pete's a little higher. Finesse move. Block shedding. Tlaib got that 56 block shed, though. Tlaib got the higher play rec. And, you know, Pat Pete's got the better coverage. I don't know, though, especially with the block shed, too. You know what I mean? Y'all know that, that that block shed is what sold me on Rod. Ah! That cheese hot. Ah! Ah! Man, what I need to do? Oh, that's a great idea for daily dose. I need, I need to do like a cooking with Mav, man. I'd be, I'd be cooking some, some bomb stuff. Now this ain't one of them. This is just a dang grilled cheese sandwich. But I'm saying, man, your boy Mav. I can't say I, I'm, a, I throw down like on some Top Chef type stuff. 
I just do creative stuff. Because I grew up pretty broke, so I just... I'm used to having to mix weird ingredients. They can just, just mix what you got left. Alright, so you know what, y'all? I think I'm going to keep Tlaib. I'm sorry. I think I'm going to keep him. This is the Pat Pete we had for a while, and Pat Pete was balling. Or do we have... We had both, right? Didn't we have this and most feared Pat Pete, or did we just have most feared Pat Pete? It might have just been most feared. But I think this is worth selling. Um, but before we sell, right... Let's reevaluate, okay? Because we have some other elites I think that we can sell as well. And we might we might just think about it for a little bit. I don't know. Oh, I forgot we had the two elite badges. I don't know what sets those would go into that we might need. Let's price the elite badge, okay? Elite badge. We gotta price that. Mmm. Oh yeah. Sam's gotta get out of here. We won't use him no more. I wonder if we can get a. I wonder if we can get away with flipping Rod for like a million. I wonder if someone will buy him for a million. Because we're not going to be playing any games for like a week. I wonder if we should just have him on the block for like a million. See if we can come up with a quick 200k. I mean, there's one for like 800 now. If someone scoops him up, we'll be the only one. Eric Berry? I forgot about that fool. Forgot I pulled him. Okay. Okay. Um Eric Berry, I'm gonna put him for like 35k. We'll look at him. Jamal Charles too. He we we, we can't we got to consider him. We got to consider him. Because although he's been balling for me, Y'all have seen it. I mean, y'all will see it if you haven't already. Like, there's times he gets caught. And I'm just like, for what? So, I don't, like, feel like no ultimate change between him and DeMarco. Like, DeMarco's just a, a, a good back, man. So, I mean, look. Jamal's going for 96K. I don't know. I think we might be all right with Jamal. We'll see, though. We'll see, though. Uh... Oh, crap. Let me flip this bad boy. A uh, little bit more. A little bit more time. Jimmy Graham. We might want to readdress that. We might want to sell him again. Because we put him up. He didn't sell, though. He did not sell. Cameron. Is it Jason or Justin Cameron? Something like that. And finally get Michael Sam out of here. Okay. Ooh, I forgot I had that JJ, too. Ooh. Ooh, I forgot I had that JJ. Let's see what Melton's going for, too. Uh... Right tackle Franklin. Is that Orlando Franklin? Am 
might be able to get some decent with him. Uh, we'll probably leave it at that. Ah, oh, grilled cheese number two. All right, so now what we need to do is let's go over to. Because remember, I said I want to. Next, I want to work on my defensive line. So, and I want to start DT and work our way out. Dang, I kind of want JJ back. So let's price. We got to price team of the week, J.J. Watt. Because he, when we're, when we're talking D-line, getting it better, he might be the move. So I really like to go with just block shed, heavy, DTs. Go elites only. Mean Joe Green. Oh. Got Kyle Williams with a 96 as well. But he's two overall points lower. So let's investigate. Lower sh lower speed. Higher awareness. Lower strength. I think th that five that that five more strength points I think will help. Okay. Oh, who's oh wait, there's a close close second too. Hold on. Let's go. Uh, mm. I thought about getting Gino. Oh, there's a ninety. There's a Nick Fairley ninety three. All right, let's pull Block Shade back up. Lodi Nada, Will Fork, really? That Will Fork is that nice? That mean Joe Green got a seventy three finesse. Uh, what else would be important for me for my DT? Really nothing. So we're going to look at Mean Joe Green and Kyle Williams. Let's price them. Well, let's do it really quick on Mudhead first. Just to get an idea. And then we'll look on the block. A hundred and ninety, that's not bad. I think he's that's he's gonna be a lot less than mean Joe Green. Yeah, almost half the price. Okay. So we're getting more speed, more strength, more agility, more acceleration, less awareness. Just a more athletic guy who really could play defensive end. <laughs> Trucking. Put him at fullback. Got 87 stiff arm now. Mm. 
Okay, similar tackle. 95 hit power, though. How often will that get put to use? Who knows? Uh, block shit. Mm, play rec. That could mean something. Mm. This one's tough. This one's tough. I might have to consult you guys on this one. Because, um... Okay, let's think. Okay, so what's really got me pumped up is the hit power. Because that would be cool to have high hit power all over the field, right? But from my DT, how often is my DT going to cause a fumble? Because really, that, I mean, mean Joe Green is the better... You know, with him having the better power move, the better finesse move. Oh, same power move. Better finesse. Uh, I don't know if it's that serious. And then it's cool with the Kyle Williams. We're getting the 94 play rack. Like, I've seen my DTs go out on screens before, and that's always dope. So, uh, as dope as he is, I don't know if his for double... We're not getting double in performance, and I don't have no crazy preference towards him. Ooh. Mm. Okay, let's 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 look at JJ Watt, and let's actually look on the block right now. Because Because yeah Sometimes you gotta go out and get the best And I do think with the extra strength The ability to do the finesse moves Similar block shed um, I just feel like Joe Green's gonna gonna get off more blocks for us. Um, I'm lost. It's going on for four sixty, okay. This had him at four fifteen, so that's a little higher. Okay. Is it 460k? Okay. And then we have the bills. So it's this captain one, right? Or MVP, yeah. Okay. One eighty one. Oh, so much cheaper. I don't think it's that serious, y'all to go with green. I just don't. Not right now. Come on to the team, white boy. Come on. Got him, y'all. Had to pick up Kyle. All right. We had a dilemma again, kind of like we did with the last video. Uh, so let me know in the comment section, what would you have done? Would you have gone with the mean Joe Green? Or would you have made the better financial decision with uh, Kyle Williams?
you lost a little bit on performance. Not a lot, though. I really just I don't think the numbers can tell us that we lost a lot. And, um, you know, still have room to work. There we go. Back to 90 overall. All right. Looking better. Looking better. So now we're looking at, you know, another DT. Do we try and go for green now? Sell some people and really be tough up the middle? Or do we make the move to JJ Watt? Again, give me all your feedback in the comment section. Appreciate y'all rocking with your boy. Y'all be easy. Till next time. God first. God bless.